Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another video. It is, oh man, uh, Monday, March 4th, 2024. This is going to be a quick video uh, talking about uh, one uh, particular kind of items that I like to collect if, you know, the price is right. I have sold dozens, if not hundreds of certain kinds like these. And I just want to talk about the ones that if I can choose which ones I would look out for. And so I'm going to give you an example here of that sold over the weekend. It's not a huge example, but it gives you a picture of what I'm talking about. All right, excuse the mess and everything in the middle of taking pictures. Um, so this is Department 56, Wizard of Oz, little uh, figure house, you know, the witch comes apart and everything, but it's like really cool. And um, it's sold for, I believe, $50. I'm sure I could have waited out and got like 60 65 for it all in, but... You know, quick sell. I had this, I think, maybe for a few weeks, and it sold. If I wanted to go to about 40 bucks, it would have sold pretty much instantly. But all in all, not bad. So, the Parmouth, so I, I know there's a lot of different kinds out there. The ones that I look for the most are Department 56, in my opinion, is like pretty top. And then right below it for me is uh, Lemix, I think is what it is. Uh, Lemax, Lemix. I, I'm just going to call it Lemix. I know I believe there's like a Heritage Collection. I know there's a few others out there, but those are the main ones that I particularly like. And so I do have a video of it uh, when I actually lived in Texas to where I was able to get a huge Lemix collection, like huge. Um, I'm probably never going to get another collection like that for the amount that I paid. I only paid like $120, $140. They just wanted it gone. And so I'm going to make another video of what I do when I buy collections like that. I always, always ask if they have anything else because when I bought it at first, it was for, it was mainly all Christmas stuff and there was circus stuff, which actually ended up being really valuable. Um, but I asked as I was loading up my car, if they had anything else that they wanted to get rid of or if they had any other like Lemmix or any kind of, you know, house figurines and stuff like that. And they said that they did. And that they had uh, Halloween ones, they just didn't have uh, boxes for all of them. And I said, I'll take them if they wanted to sell them. And uh, they did. I believe I paid an extra, I don't even remember, uh, like 40 bucks or something. The, the whole collection of everything couldn't have been more than 200 bucks. I, I'm sorry, I really don't remember. I'd have to go watch the video again, but it was, it was a steal. And uh, one item out of that whole entire collection that I bought... Uh, it was from the circus kind was uh, paid for the whole entire thing. Everything else was profit. And so that's also what I wanted to talk about was the particular kinds that I look at. In, in my opinion, if you can get it for a good enough price and, you know, it's not damaged and stuff. Oh, oh in my opinion, it's worth the gamble to look them up. Um, Christmas seems to be the most mass produced. The most popular, besides obviously like Disney stuff like this, is always going to sell. I mean, that's a no-brainer. Uh, but the Halloween stuff is very, very popular, especially um, Department 56, like I said, for me is is pretty much top. But right below it is the Lemmix Collection. Lemmix Collection, like Spooky Town Halloween, I think is what it's called. Those sold super quick for me. They weren't even in boxes. Uh, like a lot of the houses and everything, like they'll have the light bulbs and everything. Like I didn't have any of that and stuff, but people were buying them like crazy. I had one that sold for like 200 bucks. Another one sold for 150, 175. Uh, needless to say, it was around Halloween time. So it was the perfect time for it. But regardless, it still sold really quick and for really good money. And so um, in my opinion... If you can find it for the right price, um, obviously if you can look it up, but if it's a good enough price, I usually take a gamble on them. I have so much to learn, barely touch the surface on them, but I love selling stuff like this because there is collectors out there that want to finish their collection or add to their collection and people will pay up for it and it's crazy. Obviously, like I said, Disney characters, like Mickey Mouse, all that kind of stuff will always, always sell. Uh, but this right here, I always look for when I go to yard sales. And you could actually find them, not like a huge collection like I got, but you know, like two or three or four here. And then um, a lot of times if they if they want like 15 bucks each and you want to take a gamble, just be like, well, you take 10 bucks each if I buy all four of them. And usually they'll say yes. 
And then so, but anyways, I can rant on forever. I've had three cups of coffee. I'm very hyper right now. So I'm going to get done with my orders here and turn them in. But I just wanted to talk about if anybody didn't know anything out there about them to, you know, maybe, maybe that's something that you're into. Really good money, really good flips. And most of them, especially like when they're character based or Halloween, unless it's Christmas time, Christmas also, they sell pretty quick and for decent profit. So thank you for watching and I'll see everybody on the next videos.